No mixed reviews for mixed martial arts this weekend as the third edition of the Armageddon Fighting Championships was full value for the fight fans' hard-earned dollar. The Octagon at Bear Mountain Arena boasted spectacular knockouts as well as an appearance from one of the biggest names in mixed martial arts. <laughs> AFC 3 was a first-class fight night according to a guy who knows. It was excellent. I think uh, it, was, it was very well ran as far as, uh, you know, if they said something was going to happen, it happened. UFC heavyweight Frank Mir had a ringside view of the biggest mixed martial arts happening to date on Vancouver Island. One of the biggest stars in the UFC universe wasn't fighting on Saturday night. Well, I was here to uh, corner of my coach and friend Robert Drysdale for his uh, MMA uh, professional debut. Drysdale dominated in that debut to Mir's delight who got his first taste of an island-run MMA event and gives full credit to promoters Darren Owen and Jason Height. I think it goes to the fact that, you know, Jason has fought before, and I think as a Mr. Martial Artist himself, I think he understands it. Absolutely. I mean, it's clear, you know, I mean, we looked around the arena, it was full. There was a ton of fans. They had a great time. Our production level was stepped up a lot more. Entertainment value was stepped up. Uh, you know, we're growing, and uh, we're going to keep growing. Good growth comes with good fights, and the card pulled no punches. Oh, oh, oh. Carrie Scar of Victoria won the only women's bout of the night by a first round TKO. Former Victoria Rebel and Winnipeg Blue Bomber Justin Shaw made quick work of Rob McCormick with a TKO at 19 seconds of the first round. A little too brief in my opinion. He uh, verbally tapped. I was kind of choked about it first, but you know, hindsight it's you know what I what I came to do. So job done and unscathed. So on to the next one. Speaking of former footballers, Nick Hinchliffe took top billing, taking on UFC veteran Caleb Starnes for the AFC middleweight world title. And despite a distinct advantage in fan support, Hinchliffe suffered his first setback on home soil. It's one of these kind of fights where, you know, he's good, I'm good, and uh, whoever makes the first mistake might lose. And unfortunately, I made a mistake, and he capitalized. My hat's off to him. Fight fans will get their fix in the fall. November 6th is the target date for AFC 4. Expect more top talent. Just don't expect Frank Mir. Somehow I think the UFC has got him secured pretty tight in his contract. You going to call Dana White on that? <laughs> yeah, I uh, can't see Dana letting him go to the AFC, but hey, we'd love to have him. <laughs>